Mr. L. Boyd. Tisk, tisk, tisk. You know better than this. You've been doing this probably a lot longer than I have. Um, and you have a bigger following than me. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this intro in. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, and welcome to another reaction. Bid ya. And, uh, yes, yes, y'all. We are having a look at one of Mr. L Boy's videos. And, yes, I'm a little tardy to the party on this one, but I really wanted to hit this one up um, because I feel like I have, you know, some, some things to really say. And I want to clear up some things because... Uh, like I said, my man, he, he, for all I know, I think he's he's done reaction videos like longer than I have, and there are some rookie mistakes that he's made in this video. Yes, I have seen this video through other channels, like Michelle's show, um, you know what I'm saying, and uh, there was something that I noticed that I feel like Michelle's show didn't really address, um, but we're going to go ahead and do that in this video, so let's go ahead and get right into this by hearing what my man, Mr. L. Boyd, has to say in regards to Easy Mill trying to take down reaction channels, as he says, as he feels. Uh, but anyway, like the hit, hit, go. All right, guys. <clears throat> I don't know how we have have lasted this long, right? But we have, miraculously. We, we definitely have. <laughs> Look, we even, have. I was going to say, man, the internet don't want me to hit this video or don't want me to hear this guy's bullshit but anyway um we've been since the beginning to to 481,900 subscribers guys which i'm not gonna lie that's it's a very impressive number you know what i'm saying and my man worked hard to get there um from zero to that with not a single copyright strike not a copyright claim we get those every day but copyright strikes the ones that actually get your channel taken down Right, um, that has happened to not just me, to a lot of other YouTubers who are now most likely checking their emails if they reacted to the person I will mention soon. Dude, it's in the damn title. You may as well get right to it. All right, so as you heard, uh, apparently, um, not only him, but other YouTubers are threatening to have their channels taken down because they're reacting to Easy Mill's music. Now, what people need to understand is that Easy Mill is no longer independent. You know what I'm saying? He um, is signed to a label. I believe he, he's with Virgin Records. Last time I checked, he was with Virgin Records. and um, Which means now his music is being um, distributed through a major um, distribution company, um, UNG. Now, everyone knows UNG claps every reactor's video. No matter how um, how by the book a reactor is when it comes to reacting to anyone who uses UMG as their distribution, you know what I'm saying? UMG doesn't care. They, they abuse the copyright system. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just how they roll. So, but anyway, we'll get into more of that as this progresses. So let's get back into it. Okay. Keep in mind, this guy, when he started out, he was not famous. Someone heard a song from him and then... That's not entirely true. He had a, a, a huge following for someone who was independent. He had like, when I first discovered him, he had um, like around 500k subs. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can't say he wasn't famous. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't as big as a mainstream artist. You know what I'm saying? Or um, or a popular independent artist. You know what I'm saying? But he did have, you know, a good size following. And immediately blew up, right? Then everyone started reacting to his content. Then everyone started pulling all of his other music. Right? And reacting to everything because he was such a phenomenon to begin with. Facts. I know I uh, hit up his entire catalog. Unlike other people who kept milking his um, his hotter songs or his hot songs, however you want to look at that, you know what I'm saying, over and over and over again, milking 
you know, because they're trying to milk the views out of those those particular songs, I hit up his entire catalog because I wanted to hear what else he had. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, that's the difference between a, a, a legit fan and a clout chaser. Let's go. In with, right? It's such a shame because we absolutely enjoyed his content. But he has now sent out takedown notices, um, copyright strike notices, right? For the removal of videos, basically. No problem. We'll remove them, right? Because, again, it's our channel, right? He's basically there. For, for the most part, he's holding all of our channels hostage. We uh, no, he's not. Um, now, look. And again, this this dude, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but he knows better than this. You know what I mean? I haven't been doing this that long, maybe a couple of years. But see, but even I know. Uh, when you're reacting to an artist, especially like mainstream artists or artists who use major distribution companies like UMG, BMI, um, and what have you, uh, in order for your reaction video to qualify as transformative work, which would then qualify as your content, you have to you know, modify your video, you have to modify the artist's uh, video that you're reacting to by simply pausing a lot. That's what reaction channels do. We pause, we give our commentary. That's what a reactor does. You pause, you give your commentary, and for major artists, one of the workarounds that I found to help me, you know, avoid any copyright issues, because, you know, there's no copyright intended when I do my reactions, I start using overlays over the video and I, I, I would get complaints in the comments. Why you keep covering the video? Why, why are you using overlays on the video? They, they, they don't, they don't claim they, they don't, they don't strike. Yes, they do. And, um, I use overlays because look, if you want to see the original video uncovered, uninterrupted, that's what the link that you can find in the uh, description. If you just click. And you'll see at the top of the uh, description, link to original video, you can go there. Go support the artist directly by watching their video uncovered, uninterrupted. Bruh. Bruh. And see, and when you do that kind of stuff, again, it, it's because as a reactor, I'm trying to let the platform know. I'm trying to let the distribution companies know. And I'm especially trying to let the artists know, hey, look, I'm not trying to steal your original content which is your music video your song or whatever other kind of video that that you made that i want to react to you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to steal your work i'm simply just doing a reaction and you know help spreading the word to my audience hey if you're new to this person go check them out you know what i'm saying bruh that's how you're supposed to do reaction videos in order to avoid copyright you know what i'm saying that's what qualifies your work as fair use you know what I'm saying? It's fair use when you when you when you when your video is different and unique enough to where it's not the it's not a replacement of the original video from the original content creator that you're reacting to. If that makes sense. We help him. He he then in response holds all of our channels hostage, guys. False. What is that? What is that? Oh, um, did I mention artist? No, I didn't. I probably didn't. I don't know, guys. Um, his name is Easy Mill. Ez Mill. Easy Mill. Now, here's where Mr. L. Boyd fucked up. See, he's saying that Easy Mill um, is putting this, this these um, claims. Well, actually, hold up. So, let's see. Well, let's, let's read this one. So, due to copyright takedown notice that we've received, your video will be taken down from YouTube in seven days. Easy Mill, um, I'm not going to say the name of the song because that's actually the name of his stepfather. We'll keep him anonymous. So, yeah. Um, now, look, I, I've been told by the Panoi community, members of the Panoi community, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they said that, yeah, Easy Mill wants all reactors to take down uh, reactions to, you know, the song that he made to his stepdad, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure they did the same for him. They probably told him too. 
Easy Mill wants you guys to take these to take this video down. You know what I mean? Because uh, I think his stepfather was threatening le legal action. If memory serves, I could be wrong, or something else, something along those lines. There was something happening where the stepfather was aware of the song, he heard it or whatever, and you know was threatening legal actions or whatever. So I was warned. I took my my reaction video down. You know what I mean? So I'm in the clear. I'm not tripping. And uh, let's see here. Delay takedown issued by FP, FFP Records and Management. So this is not even Easy Mill striking this guy's channel. This is through a third party. FFP Records and Management wants to give you opportunity to resolve your copyright issue before your video is removed and copyright strike applied. So he had ample opportunity to take this video down and he probably ignored it, kept it up and they took the video down and then he got a strike. That is not a them problem. That is a you problem, Mr. L. Boyd. Anyway. Right. Um, the, the guy who, who, who took over the, the internet uh, a little, little, uh, little less than maybe a year ago. He took over the, the internet, guys. Phenomenon out of nowhere, blown up by reaction channels online who prom freely promoted his music. Okay? A couple of months after that, he, he started copyright claiming all of the reactions that we did. And he's right about that. I did get a bunch of claims. However, I disputed all of my claims and all the claims that I've disputed because... The videos that were being claimed, these were videos that he had already put out prior to him getting signed. So if you put in a, a dispute of all the videos you reacted to prior to him get, getting um, signed, then your your claims will get cleared. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway. Right. Um, meaning that. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is where he, he fucked up. So. Copyright owner using uh, content ID has claimed material in your video. This this is a claim right here. I get these two. So as a result, your video has been blocked and can no longer be played on YouTube. This is not a copyright strike. This claim does not affect your account status. Video title, Easy Mill, Panalo Remix, Pacquiao Version, Reaction. Copyright intent, metadata is hidden and the content in question has not been made publicly by its provider. Ooh. And then the claim was made by UMG. So this is not Easy Mill making the claims. This is UMG making the claims. See, what he should have done is, if he were smart, which obviously he's trying to pretend that he is, but he's really not, um... He could have easily changed this right here. He could have, you know, erased this UMG part and put Easy Mill's name right there. You know what I'm saying? But see, this is where he fucked up. So he's he's saying Easy Mill is putting in the, these claims and these in these strikes, but it's not him. It's through the distribution companies um, that are putting his music out, putting his content out. You know what I mean? That's making these claims, making these strikes. Why this happened? Your video might contain copyright copyrighted content. Copyright owners can choose to block YouTube videos that contain their content. True. This is true. So, I don't really watch Mr. L. Boy's reactions, to be fair. I don't know how he does his reactions, but I would imagine that the reason he's probably getting claimed or he's probably getting struck is probably because he's not doing a traditional reaction video. I'm not saying that that's, that is the case. I'm saying that could be why. He's probably not pausing enough times. He's probably not giving enough commentary. He's probably not putting an overlay over the original video that he's reacting to. Because, again, those are things that can help you avoid being harassed by the artist that you claim is, you know, claiming and striking your, your videos and your channel. Bruh. Bruh. We, we, we did all this work promoting him. Then he turned around and said, 
for the most part, if you make anything off of this video, which would be most likely not a lot of money at all, right? Generally, it's not a lot. But like, you, if you make anything off this video, it's now mine. So all of the equipment, time, effort you put into making that specific piece of content, I'm going to take it. Which he has every right to do because it's his content. Okay, now you're asking for pity. You're asking for sympathy here. I spent all this money on, on equipment and on these programs and stuff so I can make these videos, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but that don't mean nothing to him. He didn't hire you to be on his street team. Okay, that's that. So that's you're not entitled making any money off of someone else's content, especially when you're not doing things in your video to make it to make it be considered as transformative work, which would qualify as fair use. Again, I don't I don't like the copyright system either, but yo, I got to do what I got to do to be able to make my reactions to certain artists, you know what I'm saying, without getting into any kind of trouble. You know what I'm saying, without without violating any any parts of the the copyright system. Whether it, whether perfect or imperfect, don't matter. Um if it's not my material, yeah, I'm not entitled to anything. You know what I'm saying? That's that's whatever music Easy Mill puts out, that is his. And yes, he is entitled to make whatever money, you know what I'm saying? off of that that music that video that you know what i mean because it's it's his stuff it's his content that's what he said basically in his head i'm taking everything from every single channel that freely promote oh yeah because you you know him well enough so therefore you know exactly what, what how that dude thinks yeah okay i got you with me is what he's saying then now to then I, when that happened i i literally had to stop reacting to him um, because of that specific thing, because I was like the dis in other words, if I can't make money off of you and I got to move on disrespect, the behind the scenes disrespect, right now, don't get me wrong. There are a couple of artists on YouTube who, who have a, you know, a very public persona that is great. Right. But then like behind the scenes, it's the exact opposite. It seems. Um, so this channel absolutely was attacked by uh, his management company. Um, and so so he's basically done out here. Uh, for me personally, on this channel, he is gone. Um, the, and all of his videos will, will be removed from this channel. And I'm sure that breaks his heart. Um, so that's a thing also, right? Um, and I'm not the only one. And that, that's the thing. So it would have been smarter if his management team emailed the channels directly and been like, please take this song down. All of us would have obliged. But instead you say, you have seven days to remove this so your channel's gonna get a copyright strike. Yeah, you have seven days. Seven 24 hour cycles to take down a video. You had ample opportunity to take these videos down. Or, yeah. The videos that they want down, you had ample opportunity to take them down. And if you let those seven days fly by and allowed your channel to get striked or struck, that's on you. Really? Really? You're done out here, bro. All right. Um, and I'm sure he doesn't care because look, yeah, you may be a bigger reaction channel than mine, but I mean, I'm sorry, my guy, but you're, you're still not the hottest thing going today. I'm sorry. But all right, yeah, so guys, uh, no, absolutely no easy meal content under under any circumstances. So this is what um, someone who is overly entitled looks like. Circumstance or his management uh, or anything from or any of the artists that his management uh, looks at. The name of the management company is uh, FFP Records and Management. So any of these, anything from, from that management company no thank you uh and definitely anything from easy mail absolutely no thank you because this is the second time that he has personally for the most part attacked this channel all right so um but again it's it's not him that's doing that it's the distribution companies and the labels that you know produce his music that put his music out 
it's them that's going after the channels, not him. They're doing it on his behalf. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's him that wants it done. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I, this, this is why I want to make, make this video because I feel like my man here is trying to tarnish um, Easy Mill's reputation. And I'm sorry, but as someone who's a fan of Easy Mill that, that you know, legit enjoys Easy Mill's music, I just can't let that slide. I mean, I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just can't. So yeah, I just want to basically clarify and let, let it be known like, look, it's not Easy Mill that's making these claims. It's the distribution companies. It's the labels that are making these claims and, or, and these strikes. But understand these claims and these strikes, they can easily be avoided, again, if you make modifications on your reaction uh, videos that'll help you stay out of trouble. Like I said, if you got to pause a shit ton, pause. Give your commentary. You know what I'm saying? And then let people know. If they want to um, watch and listen to um, Easy Mills music videos uninterrupted, uncovered, or whatever, um, because I use overlays, again, to protect myself, protect my channel, you know what I'm saying, against the copyright issues. So let, let your audience know. Let your followers know. If you want to see this video uncovered, uninterrupted, go to the guy's channel. Go watch it. Go watch the video there. My video is not meant to be a replacement of the original. If you want to watch the original, go to the link. Click the link. Go to his channel. If you like what he's doing there, subscribe to him. Help drive traffic directly to the artist that you're reacting to. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and only then, well, if you do all that, then it qualifies as transformative work, and it therefore qualifies as fair use, and you're in the clear. It's not that hard. It's 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 a little more tedious, but it's worth it to keep you out of trouble, and so you can, you know, keep making a living, making content. Yeah, guys. Enjoy days. All right, guys. So that was Mr. L. Boyd uh, with the Easy Mill is trying to take down reaction channels after he used them to get famous. Yeah, see, even that, that freaking title is bullshit because artists don't use um reaction channels to get famous no reaction channels when they make a reaction to an artist that they like that they support they want to help promote the reaction channels are doing that voluntarily no one is pointing a gun to your head and telling you oh you, you should react to this artist you, you need to react to this artist and help promote them help get them up no it is on you if you want to help them grow their numbers or not but understand that there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it and i bet you he probably did it the wrong way you know what i'm saying and he didn't respect the wishes of the people who told him to take down that reaction he did for the song that easy mill made on his stepdad. that i got told i got told by the community i also got told by the distributions and i complied so i never got a strike i still don't have a strike on my channel because i complied you see out of respect. Bruh. Anyways, guys. it's pretty much it. Uh, let me know where you guys stand on this whole situation. Um, let me know how you guys feel about Easy Mill. Do you guys rock with Easy Mill? Do you like his music? Do you not? Uh, do you guys rock with Mr. L Boy? Do you not? Feel free to leave your reasoning in the comment section down below. And don't forget, if you're with this reaction, feel free to hit the like or the dislike, depending on how y'all feel. And if you feel so inclined to do so, then I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button, especially if you're new here, uh, if you want to see more content. And uh, yeah. And also don't forget, uh, link for the original video will be in the description down below if you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. And um, yeah, don't forget, uh, reaction request instructions are right below the link for the original video. And then right below the instructions, there's uh, links to my two stores uh feel free to check those out and then right below that we got the links the channel links to all the folks that i rock with so yeah uh feel free to show the fan bam some love i'm sure they'll greatly appreciate that as much as i would and yeah pretty much all i gotta say so with all that being said it is your boy jason jv and y'all take care have a blessed one catch y'all next one peace